so guys um i want to quickly show you guys how to use this 3 c dot exchange how, how do you make use of it it's very simple most um a lot of people have been sending me message telling me they don't know how to use it and the rest i quickly want to make a short video and everyone should be able to benefit and trade freely on this exchange and if you're having any problem with it you can move your phone back to binance and use the oco in which i will explain to on this video so let's dive right straight into the chart after you must have deposited go to your my account here um you will see the deposit and withdrawal click on the deposit um you can use eth or xrp um i think they are very fast in transfer and their charges are very low then after that um you click on you change it you must sell it back to btc because the pairs are on btc so now you move back to the home page now you click on smart trade now after clicking on smart trade now we'll now go right straight into this um like i said if i give you any <coughs> long um, trade signal when i say long trade signal is um the price is going up so let's assume i'm using ada for example which is ada once you type it this will come out you click on it so after that you see the chart and the other books around here so let's assume i'm giving you an order to buy above the market price here so the market price here where, I'm, where the price i'm telling you to buy is around four six nine so how are you going to place this order um you have to choose the units you want to buy but i think basically it depends on how much you are using to buy that will determine how many units you can purchase with the amount of money you have so what are you going to do you don't need to use the limit order you don't use you don't need to use the market order what you need to use is the conditional order now why are you using the conditional order because you are saying you don't want to buy below the market price you don't want to buy at the market price you want to buy above the market price so which is 469 now 469 is the price you are going to use here now once you click on the conditional market um this is the conditional price you wanted to trigger you at now if you come down to this place you see, see another order price now what is your order price your order price will now be at the market price now once you click on market price to tell you what market order will be executed at market rates when the conditional order triggers what does this mean it means that when the price goes to 469 it will automatically pick you at that particular 469 which you have placed your conditional buy order um and after that you don't need to put this on you just leave it off and come down to this place and pick either five percent of your of your capital ten percent twenty five percent or fifty percent or even hundred percent so once you click on it it will automatically show you the total amount of btc you want to use and it will load the units you can buy with that percentage of um, your capital you're using then you move to the right you see set take profit once you click on it you click on the market order i said market order will execute at actual rates when the price meets condition what are the conditions these are the conditions here the conditions are five percent which i'm giving you five percent here which i'm giving you which is the four nine three then that is all for this then you move to the right then the next one is what minus five which will give you what four four five which is your stop loss and you are done with this trade then the next step is to what this will just turn to green uh, to blue as you can see then you when you click on it a notification will come out and tell you this is what you have placed then you click on ok it will now place your order it will not execute those orders so once it place your order you scroll down you will see down here 
so that is what you need to know about how to take a trade here so if you look at it there is no sell side here we only have smart trade and that smart trade is just for you to place your buy order take profit and stop loss that is just it you can take this video back and watch the way i explain it um so if you don't want to use this you can actually take your money back to binance and let's go through this now i'm going to explain this this might be a little bit um confusing to some people but i want to explain this so that you'll be able to understand how to use this oco so if you don't want to use the 3c dot x thing you can bring your um, money back to binance and start trading there again but you need to understand how this works before you can make that decision of trading with oco how does it work if i give you an order to buy using buy stop now let me explain what i mean by buy stop i'm gonna use um i'm going to use let me go back to advance don't want to use this margin interface let me go to advance so that i'll be able to explain with charts um i think it's loading okay so now we're here so what do you need to do now we are still using the BTC pair and we are using ADA, ADA. So now this ADA, this is what I want you all to understand. I need you to understand this and pay attention before you use this OCO. I'm not saying it's bad, it's good, but you need to understand how it works. Now, how does it work? Now, whenever I say, let me switch this to... OCO. Now, whenever I say buy stop, buy stop means um, the price will continue to go up. This is what I mean. Let me use this exchange chart to explain. When I say buy stop, what I'm trying to say there is this. I'm saying that I'm saying that price will continue to go up. Price will continue to go up. Let's assume in now that let me remove this so that I can use a clean chart. Okay. Now let's assume price has been ranging like this. We have a lot of um, horizontal resistance and support. Now listen to this and listen carefully most of you don't understand this but i would explain this so we call this the support and the, this is the support uh, this is the resistance this is the support now what is buy stop and what is what is buy stop or buy limit sell stop and sell limit now buy stop is when you place an order above the market price automatically saying or knowing fully well after charting that price will break through this resistance and continue going up so this is <coughs> buy limit the yeah, buy stop rather buy stop means you don't want to wait until price goes down you want to buy on the way up placing an order above the market price now what is buy limit buy limit is you are placing your order below the market price around here that price will come down back pick your order and go back up so at this point you've placed your order and price can pick you up and continue going higher so the difference between buy stop and buy limit is that buy limit is price will come down pick your order and go up why buy stop is price will break through the resistance and continue pushing higher that is buy stop and buy limit now let me go to sell stop and sell limits i'm explaining this because i want you all to to understand how to use the oco now sell limit and sell stop you know if you are buying you are going up you are saying price will go up 
if you're selling you're seeing price will come down now sell limit is price is around here price is ranging here so you place a sell limit around here saying that price will go up to hit your order and you will sell or if you are shorting any coin you are placing a buy store a sell stop below the market price in which you are saying price will continue to push down so if you are setting order below the market price it is a sell stop limit order or a sell stop and if you are setting your sell order above the market price is a sell limit sell limit which means you are saying it's just like the spot trading let me go back to that just like the spot trading so this is it this is sell limit this is buy and um, buy limit this is sell limit so normal trading is if you buy buy low sell high so automatically this is a sell limit now if you combine these two together we have a buy limit here and a buy stop limit here so this is how you place your orders if i give you an order to set this at 469 above the market price you are setting a buy stop limit order saying that price will go up and it will pick you and continue going higher that is not your buy limit this is the buy limit here why this is the buy stop limit so the buy stop limit price would be this so buy stop limit is always above the market price why for the buy limit which i'm not i don't know what you can do about it because this the oco will automatically give you two different prices in which one is the buy limit price and the other one is buy stop limit just like where you're saying buy stop so this will be above the market price and this will be below way below the market price so if i'm giving you a buy limit buy stop limit at 469 so you can bring this one down to like 400 because it's not useful this is one we're using because if you don't put this price it will not you cannot place the order so when you place this it's telling you once you click on 50% or 70% or 100% or 25% it will give you a notification telling you that these two prices when the price goes up and hit the 469 it this price will automatically trigger this price so they will automatically set your order and it will trigger you at 469 which is the normal price I'm giving you to buy now why is it OCO why it is OCO because if this buy stop limit is triggered it will automatically cancel the 400 so one order cancels another so if the buy stop limit order is triggered the buy limit will be cancelled now another thing is applicable to sell i cannot say it is the same thing why this sell limit you this sell order here you can use everything why did i say you can use everything now the sell stop limit is our stop loss i made a little mistake when i was doing the live video the sell stop limit is our stop loss why the sell limit is just like this one you are putting a um order to sell higher so the sell stop the sell stop limit is the stop loss and our stop loss here which is um our stop loss here which is five percent is four four five four four five so you can put four four five here four four five here now this sell limit will now be the five percent you want to sell it at which is four 
493 which is the five percent in which i will give you this is the 493 in which i'll give you the the targets whenever i'm dropping any signal so when you place this this sell limit here is the take profit sell stop limit is your stop loss i told you that sell stop limit or sell stop is down here why your sell limit is when you want price to go back up so we'll take sell limit as our take profit and we'll take sell stop limit as our stop loss please i want you all to replay this video over and over again for you to understand this before you open any trade i hope this short video will help you all to understand how to place these orders and how to use the 3c dot exchange thank you very much guys and happy trading